Well, you know, if you got me 10, ten years ago, I could have given you a lot more memories, but memory is one of the first things that goes. Uh, but I remember going there in the 40s with my family, and, and uh, we'd, we'd pick up a bag of uh, sandwiches and, and take them home. Uh, you had a choice of sliced or pulled, and uh, I think we normally got the, uh, probably got the sliced. Uh, the sauce was good, and I understand the sauce is out again, and uh, uh, I got a sample bottle the other day, and it was better than I remembered. So I'm glad we, we've been able to rejuvenate some of those memories for you. But after I got a driver's license in, uh, I guess, 1949, I'd uh, go to a movie and with a, a date, stop by there and get a uh, get a barbecue sandwich and maybe a milkshake or something like that. Uh, it was always crowded. Service was always good. Price was right. Did you have, so, did you have a favorite car hop back then? Did somebody you always? No, there was. Uh, uh, my memory probably starts to get mixed up with the car hops there and the ones at the varsity in Atlanta. So that's, uh, but. Pig and Whistle was, it, it was good. And I remember uh, Mr. Ingram, I think, was the manager. Right. And uh, uh, Bob Kingman was uh, one of the, one of the, the owners. The and and later on, because I think that my grandfather had property, owned, might have owned the property that my father and Uncle Kenneth got in, involved in it. So uh, it was kind of like a family, family place. So Macon kept it together. Oh yeah. That's Would, did, did it really stand out back in those days? Just how many notable personalities came from the Pig and Whistle? Um, well, I went online and checked it, and I was absolutely startled by the folks that who I know, but I didn't realize that they'd gotten a, that they'd so put in put in time there, like yeah. uh, Tennessee Williams. Yeah. Well, I remember t uh, Tennessee Williams and his cat on a hot tin roof. I think he lived on. Mulberry Street, and uh, but uh, he was a character himself. 